Assembly, summer 2019 scene lounge, hello. I am so happy to be here with you. This is the second time in this, this kind of thing, and uh, it's very nice to be opening the program of the scene lounge this year. Uh, do we have image? On the screen, I'd like my laptop screen to be visible to the audience. Yeah, looks almost good, but uh, wait a minute. Settings, and then I uh, then I share the screen because that one looks. Now it looks perhaps better. Lowest point. Highest point. OK. <laughs> OK. A little bit technical settings in the beginning. But uh, now we have a shared screen. Yeah. So let's start by checking out where we are and uh, what's going on. We'll come to who is talking in a minute. We are now in assembly, scene lounge, and in the very first part of the program, which is let's make a demo. Beginner workshop, and uh, we'll be doing programming together with participants. And. Uh, my name is Paavo Nieminen. I am this guy. Which guy? We'll go to Google for this. Uh, Paavo, first name, Nieminen. And the search engine optimized page on the first hit is this one. And you can see this is me. And uh, before anybody stops me, I will be speaking two words on behalf of my employer. Uh, uh, the University of Jyväskylä, Faculty of Information Technology. Very good place to study, and we are very happy to be sponsoring Assembly Summer 2019. We have a booth over there with our students. They'll be happy to tell you about studying in Jyväskylä in IT field. Uh, during the daytime, I'm a university teacher uh, teaching computer graphics and other things. But one of those things is, is computer graphics. And uh, I told you it's the second time this Let's Make a Demo workshop was actually in Jyväskylä in a very nice demo party called Instancy. This one will happen next year as well. Beginner-friendly demo party happening in central Finland. You're all very welcome to Jyväskylä to to uh, take part in our, our demo party as well. Uh, in there, there has been this kind of workshop as well. And uh, somebody heard about this and asked me to do similar stuff in, in assembly scene lounge. And uh, here we are, second time. So that's what's going to happen, demo coding workshop. Uh, what is a demo? We are in a demo party now, so everybody pretty much knows what is a demo, and if you don't, we begin with playing a demo. Let's see what happens. The resolution is different than expected. <laughs> Ah, looks nice.
Yeah. That was a demo. It lasted for 60 seconds. And we can say that Jean Ray was uh, one scene. It had with stuff happening on the screen. Uh, did you like it? Yeah? Yeah, I, I like it too. And uh, I'm not giving this workshop by myself. I also have other assistants here. So first, please welcome Waffle, who has made the programming for the demo we just saw, the invitation to this, this workshop. Waffle. Maybe. Du, du, du. Hello, my name is Waffle, and welcome to the demo workshop. <laughs> yeah, uh, we have hats too, so Waffle, put your hat on, I, I put mine as well, so uh, to make us more visible. While, while we are uh, teaching programming, we have these hats on, and you can ask questions. Hat off, don't ask. Hat on, <laughs> ask. Okay, <laughs> and we have two more, so please welcome to the stage. Two more assistants. We have Bjarke. Hi, I'm called Bjarke. And since I usually keep this hat on, I guess you can ask me anytime. Hello, I have a different hat. I'm Konsta or Soda. And I'm here to advertise you the Graphathon demo party that happens in Otaniemi every year. Been organizing that for a while. Bjarke has also been, been there. And I'm also helping you. Yeah. Thank you. These four people will be guide to the graphics programming in this workshop. Uh, you'll know us by the hats. Uh, yes, and uh, Soda mentioned Graphathon. I was going to uh, mention that. Can I, can I get the computer screen on the... So Graphathon was mentioned. Another very, very nice event. Just held this one. And uh, so this workshop basically was born from a combination of Instancy, Uvascular, and Graphathon Otaniemi. OK. We saw a demo. It has some flat moving things and nice music. Music was by Speaky, Speaky around here. He's around here, I know, but uh, not in the space. OK, very nice music. Uh, but what is the demo? How, how does it become this kind of animation? The thing about demos is that, that they are programmed. So what you saw, I clicked on this run here in, in a tool called Processing. And this is the tool we're going to be using in the, in the workshop. And uh, now the, I think the font is visible. It was uh, for a different resolution. Let's make it a little bit smaller so we can fit more, more of the programming language in the, in the screen. OK, still visible, very good. Uh, yeah, so um, this workshop is, is uh, aimed towards absolute beginners for whom programming language could seem like gibberish. But the idea is that during these couple of days, it will become meaningful. In, in this, you can see programming language, it's text, and uh, some of it is is just like English. You know, these are called comments. This kind, there's a joke about these two slashes. Like, if somebody's annoying you, you can just put your fingers like this, and then it's in comments, so it doesn't, it doesn't affect you. Uh, it doesn't do anything. So uh, it's important to put comments. And uh, what you see is invitation to this workshop and also example code that, that uh, we allow you to examine and uh, we know it throughout, so, so it's one place to start learning. How did this text become that show? Uh, and uh, I'll put my volume low, don't, don't put it higher. So there's code. Then I press play, and uh, 
processing tool, and then it starts to do the demo. OK. Then in the code, uh, everything has a meaning. We try to learn a little bit about what, what is the meaning. Most things will start making sense. You know, you, you have some kind of width in your graphics, you have height in your graphics, then you have to measure it, you put numbers in the code. And it's just, just a way of defining, defining what should happen in this demo. Um, there are a couple of things that appear here. There are these kind of texts. For example, here you saw the, the text, are, uh, they are flashing, and uh, music is going on, and it's synchronized to the beat. But it's, it's defined just like this in, in plain, plain English. It looks a little bit dull, but it becomes live after some press. And then in a demo, you have to do a couple of things always. In, in programming, you have to make settings, what kind of window you want to run in, uh, how, how, to, how to set everything up. And uh, then code is nothing scary, nothing magical. It's a definition of how to set up things, for example. And then you have this, this kind of thing. Uh, one thing, of course, is that uh, when you're programming, every, every single letter must be exactly correct. So, so if you have open parentheses, you will have to have closed parentheses somewhere. Uh, processing is a nice tool. If you make a mistake, it will give you immediately information that something is missing, parenthesis is missing, then you, then you would know something was missed like this. Uh, in this example, there are a couple of things uh, that we have tested to work pretty well on many, many machines. And uh, some of these things like, like this you don't even have to change it. Just use it like this in your own, own production in the end. OK, definition of a demo. You have to set things up. Then here we see its programming language. It says, draw cube. OK, was there a cube in the, in the demo? Uh, there was a cube in the demo, in the, in the beginning. There's a cube. OK, it has to be defined. So it's defined in the, in the programming language. And this is something when, when you will be doing your own demo like this in the workshop. You will be writing things like this. Never mind the void. Never mind the parentheses, but they have to be there. But then you will be writing some things like this. Draw my beautiful thing. And then you will, you will learn that there are some patterns. You have some things that, that are there all the time. For example, here, after draw cube, there's, well, first of all, there's a parenthesis. And somewhere, there has to be a matching end parenthesis. It's just logical. And then it, then it becomes a valid program. You have to put this in the right places. You have further patterns. For example, in here, uh, there's a push matrix. And then in the end, there's a pop matrix. And in the beginning, there are some things. If you follow these examples and make your own demo like a 3D thing with your beautiful things, you will be writing this kind of things. You put push matrix, then some talking through these things with you, uh, what it means, what it's in the beginning. Let's take something simple. Here in comments, it doesn't affect the demo, but it tells you that this part here draws a white cube. White cube. OK. 
Then, after a little bit of graphics experience, you will pretty immediately guess that these are probably values for the red, green, and blue color channels to, to um, make the eye believe there is a certain color. Let's modify the code. Let's put here, instead of 255, let's put here 0. Well, I know what's going to happen. It's going to be yellow, because it's uh, red and green, and our eyes would think that it's yellow. It's nowhere near yellow in, in physical world, but, but it will look like yellow. So I changed the comment as well. Yellow cube. OK. Then let's press play. I'm expecting a yellow cube. Oh, there is yellow cube, and this is already programming. This is already understanding what's going on in the programming code, how it's defining the demo, changing it to be better for your own aesthetics. So, so this is this is where where it's good to start learning. For example, graphics programming. You take something, you understand it, you modify it, you learn how to how to define worlds of, of these things. Then there are other things, like I told you, you will be doing Draw My Beautiful Thing. Uh, in this demo, there was the box, but there was also these gears that are turning. So naturally, there is a void draw gears, open curly brace, push matrix. In the end, there will be pop matrix. In the, in the, in the middle, there will be things that would draw the gear. Actually, many gears. But never mind if this looks like gibberish, we will be. We, we have makes five gears instead of only one. Gear, what is the gear? I forgot to mention in the beginning of the code. I did tell you there has to be a setup. What is setup? in processing. It has these things like load shape. What is load shape? OK, when, when you are a professional programming, programmer, you don't know what load shape exactly does. You have a very good way to find out. I don't know a better way than looking for your tool like processing and reference manual. Processing reference. Ooh, OK. Looks good. Programming interface for processing. Ah, we have this. This is very nice, actually, for processing. It's the reference manual contains these sections. What do you want to do? You want to do text. You want to do shapes. OK, you have these words that you can put in your program. For example, under shape, you have load shape. Click on that one, and if you have internet, you immediately will see examples of use, description of what it does. Loads, OK, that's a technical term. It takes the shape from some place. Ah, where does it take it from? Your computer, yeah. Uh, and that's normal. I'm using Linux. I like this uh, text-based uh, interfaces. But uh, for, for many, it's uh, more, more usual to, to have this kind of graphical interface. Like this one. This is probably more comfortable. You, you have this kind of folders and files, and you can see icons for them. And uh, this is how a processing demo looks like on the computer before it's loaded and set up and animated. And one of them has to be called data. In data, you have these things called assets. Assets, they are the precious things made by artists for your demo. You can make them yourself if you're artistic. 
but then there's the combination of the artwork and then the programming that actually makes the thing flashy and demo-like and aesthetic. You can see here the assets of, of this demo. Uh, for example, here, it looks rather dull before it's blinking and flashing with the music. But that's how you build a demo. You, you have, you have Assets like uh, graphics and uh, music. There's an MP3 file. I could click on that and it would start playing in my. But, oh, there's a band from Helsinki, very good one, actually promoted here by accident. Yeah. Anyway, Beast Milk, very nice. But yeah, there's uh, assets here in, in the data directory. You will have this because we, we hope that every entry in the compo will have music, so, so you'll probably have data folder and you will be loading assets. Following the example that we have given, it's a simple one and we can help you. And then others as well. Okay. And, and uh, regarding the, the gear, it's actually made in a, in a 3D modeling tool by a 3D artist. And then it's just a file that is being loaded by load shape, which is described in the reference manual. This is programming. It's simple as that. You know what it does, then you can change it. If you have a different kind of file, you, you, you put a different name, you will load a different asset. You will give a name that you will like. Okay? And then there's fonts for text, you know. All this, every word has a meaning, unless it's a comment. OK, what else could we do just to show how, how programming happens? Here in Draw, there's this uh, thing after. The thing about comments is nice. And the thing about, about uh, waffles example is that there are nice comments that uh, give you examples. You can do this and that and see how it affects things. Uh, about this one, well, I'm not so sure because, because if, you, if, you, if, you, if you scale something and then rotate it, you will be doing the same thing as first rotating the thing and then scaling it, so it's, you end up in the same place. We will be talking about this a lot if you decide to do 3D or even 2D graphics. Uh, but let's just do something little that uh, I could perhaps, looking at this, let's just sh show that putting very little things, like let's, let's put like divide by three here. It's slash three means just divide by three, just normal math. Let's do that kind of change in there, for example, and then we can immediately see how it affects the demo. It will start playing, again, there's, there's the cube, but then, as you can see, the, the gears are, are in a different setting. Uh, they're even off the screen a little bit. But that happens, that happens usually. Uh, you, you make a change and then, then it is unexpected. Ah. How to deal with that? How to deal with that? At this point, I'll, I'll, I'll show you one of my own, own demos. Uh, it's, uh, it's actually this one. At this, this point, I'd like to have also music. So, can I put, yeah. So, um, I made this, this, this small demo back in, back in 2018. Uh, what it is, it's an it's introduction to, to my graphics course. It will tell you in approximately a minute what is being taught on the course. So let's... Thank you. 
If you know programming, you saw some philosophical notes in there. Uh, so um, it's, it's a one scene demo, definitely short, and it contains definitely one scene. And it's just changing the camera a little bit. Uh, well, OK, it's, it's a web page as well, so I can, I can go to places and, and pause in, in topics of the course. Color. This is coder colors. Beginners do this. Red, green, and blue, and no other colors. That's not very aesthetic. So it's called coder colors, and you need artists to, to, to make nicer colors. Uh, but OK, I'm a coder teaching coding, so I, I think I, I can be excused for coder colors. And um, some things on the course. This, this, this is programming language. It means that no pain, no gain. Yeah, it's, things have to be a little bit difficult, then you learn. OK, uh, unfortunately, I can't uh, put that in any compo because it is previously released material on the, on the course. And of course, it's, it fits in uh, 4096 bytes because otherwise it's not fun to, to build these things. So it's actually 4K intro. The thing about this is that that, that how do you manage with those gears? They go in places you didn't expect. Well, uh, plan, plan first. This is important also in the, in the workshop here. We provide you a bunch of paste copy machine, but also uh, pens, which have logo of our university as well, and uh, perhaps the best, uh, most important web page link of your life. You can keep the pen after workshop. This is important. You, you, you make notes. You plan. What is the distance from this place to the other? How should I rotate or translate something so that it goes in expected places and not unexpected places? So this is highly recommended. And uh, we, we give you the power tools of, of pen and paper in the workshop. Use them. We help you. We'll be using those as well. Planning ahead and then, then making change the changes you, that you definitely know are good. OK, we have two days for the rest of the stuff. Uh, there are different things that go on in this demo. Draw, my beautiful thing, draw, draw logo of assembly, it was there in the demo, draw all sorts of overlays, those, those uh, assets, those, those pictures laid on top of each other, one at a time. Uh, drawing text, yeah, the, the greetings and stuff. OK, everything is similar. It's just defining, draw something, and then what it, how you define what it is. And finally, we come to Last important bit of the, the demo, it's the draw. It's always draw. And that will happen 60 times per second. It's the, if it's fast enough, it's frame rate of the, the computer monitor. And uh, each time the thing is drawn. How it is drawn? Well, in here you can see. After defining what is gears, what is cube, logo, just put them. Now, draw gears, draw cube, draw logo, draw text, draw overlays. 60 times a second here in draw, which everybody will be making in the, in the workshop in your own demo. You will be drawing your beautiful things. What's the creativity, what the, what the creativity brings? Uh, then, to demystify these things, uh, moon lander and rocket. I always tell my students that it's not rocket science. This, this is quite simple stuff uh, in the end. But uh, what are these rocket and moon lander here? Let's 
launch this one. Rocket. This is another tool that we'll be using in this, this workshop. I, I launched another program. It's called Rocket. Uh, then I press play in here. Uh, I won't do that yet because then I know I would get a blank screen. It would be not so nice. Uh, one thing mentioned here and mentioned many times during the workshop is that this is your final settings. I told you, told you demo has to be set up and there has to be settings in the final version for assembly competition. You will have to have full screen with full HD resolution. We provide you the code. OK, it's there. Don't change it. Don't change that bit. But what you can change while you're building your demo, you can change this one to false. It means, it means that let's, let's not be full screen all the time. Uh, I mean, at the moment. So in the final version, put true. Before that, put false. Because then you get a smaller window. OK, but this resolution seems to be quite close to that. So let's make it. Ah, OK, it was. OK, you can comment things out and then back in. Let's. And the, and the English comments will tell you what, what everything means. Here, now we have a smaller window. And now it doesn't play anything. It's black, black screen. Uh, I've got rocket at the same time. And the rocket says it's connected. OK, this one, this program is now connected to processing. And the uh, thing is, now rocket is in control. Uh, it doesn't do anything. Why? Because uh, for this demo, I would have to open in this folder, this file called, always called syncdata.rocket. Let's open it. Yeah, now we have things here and let's try. Yeah. Yeah, now we have the demo. And uh, with low volume, we could have some of the music because now this is important because it's about synchronizing. Yeah. OK. The demo is playing, and Rocket is in control. See, uh, in one window, the demo. In another one, GNU Rocket, which is a sync tracker for pausing, playing, going all around in time in the, in the demo. And at each time, there are values for things that have names. For example, cube. Uh -huh. X, Y, Z, we'll be talking about those. They are coordinates in space. And width, height. Now, let's go to the very beginning of the demo, where we had the cube. Here, we have the cube visible here in the demo window. Rocket is in control. I control Rocket by keyboard. I press space, it starts. Space again, it pauses. So let's run. Now it's the original demo. Let's make a change here. The width here uh, in the beginning. Oh, OK keyboard to move in here. Width was first, zero, nothing. But let's put it to 100, for example. And then, oh, wow, you see the box changed shape. OK, let's make something even more, 200. OK, now it's a wider box. But it changes. Why? Because in in rocket, 
you can put numbers after numbers in places which correspond to time and actually beats in the song. It's four by four beats, it's simple. Uh, it's always divisible by four and eight and <coughs> never mind those A, B, C, D, E, F. Uh, it's normal, it's uh, hex numbers. <laughs> this is a <coughs> tool for programming, graphics programming. Hex numbers are usual, very good numbers for techno music, for example. And the idea is you can, you can change, change these parameters, these, these values that, that you want to change. You want to have first a very wide box, then very narrow box, then wider, then narrower. And observe how it changes over time. And now you can see it changes on each beat, like so. Let's put one more so it becomes more clear that it changes every beat, like so. And then using the keyboard, you can make it smoother. You can press I for making it smooth animation from one value to another. OK, yeah. OK, we'll be doing this kind of demos in this workshop. I'll show you schedule slides. Uh, and first, I have one minute, but I'll be using two. So, uh, so I'll be based on that one. It's called bare bones. We will be giving you also uh, this data. Oh, I'm opening. I, I had to close that and open from here. Ah. Well. OK, if processing crashed for me, then it's time to see the slides and, and uh, use the last minute well. We have time in the workshop for all of this. This year we have slides. I'll show the important ones. Yeah, we're back in Soda Kuma Waffle. Uh, we'll be doing demo for a compo together. Uh, today we start uh, at 7. Uh, tomorrow is an important deadline. We'll be giving guidance three hours every day. Tomorrow at 4 p.m. sharp, latest, you will have to have a version in the party system, a version that technically works, we make it work for you, together with you, the version tomorrow at 4 and after that, until it works. After that, we make no promises. If you make new errors that make it technically impossible to run, then, then, then you're out of luck because we are out of uh, time in the event. Tomorrow for working version. After that, you can still uh, make more beautiful things to be drawn. And, and so on. We can create more. Uh, hard and non-negotiable deadline for the entry of the compo is on Saturday after three hours of workshop, of course. And then at 3 p.m. Saturday, we will be enjoying the compo with your entries. And uh, we'll be discussing about these things while we start ask for help. Starting seven. Yeah, thank you.